excited for this. It is time to play a game with one of our favorite people and learn a bunch in the process. Dr. Lori is joining us to appraise some local items while we try to guess the values ourselves and feel free to play along with us at home and you know that I'm probably going to win this time. Well, you should because I won the last two times, so it would only be fair if you won this time. <laughs> Yes, it yes, only would be fair if I win this time. <laughs> Hi, Dr. Lori. Hi, good morning. Good morning, Pittsburgh. Good to see you. So we, we yes. got another, I mean, so many, really, mm -hmm. so many pictures from viewers. So we're going to get to a couple of them right now. And the first one is a picture of money. Okay, this is a Freemasons collage, and it's actually cut currency. So they cut it up, and then they put oh. it all on this particular collage. And if you look at your dollar bills, you'll actually see a lot of the symbols that are relate to, of course, the Freemasons or the Masonic code. And that's what you have there. So you have, of course, the Freemasons uh, compass and you have all different kinds of things. And you can see, of course, the pictures of the presidents from our currency as well. Hmm. So I'm guessing there's added value to this if, if, for instance, your dad or your grandfather was in the Masons or something like that, right? Like you might exactly. want to collect this. Okay. Exactly. And Masonic collectibles are very, very big. They have pocket watches with Masonic codes on them. There are aprons that were worn, all kinds of things. So is that the most valuable? Uh, and, and so when was this, I guess, put together? When was this made? Oh, relatively early. That particular piece is late 19th, early 20th century. It's a nice piece and it's in a good frame and it's in good condition. But imagine all of the pieces of money that had to be yeah. cut up in order to make it. Was this good money that they cut up, or was this like money that was un like gonna be removed from Actual, circulation? Is it, I, I'm a reporter. Money that I, I can buy candy bars with. Oh really? Oh wow. Actual, yeah. Okay. What a waste of money. Yeah. Well, that's <laughs> okay. That's, so, all right. So, and are, are these in demand? Do people collect things like this? People collect Masonic collectibles. Yes. Okay. Very much so. All right. All right. Here we go. How much okay. money is in it? Oh, I'd have to do the addition, but every single one of those small pieces is from um, a particular piece of currency. Okay. All right. All right. So, so we, I, for those of you who haven't watched this game before, we are allowed to ask questions, and then David and I both then guess, we guess the and amount. Then Dr. Lori tells who's right. Okay. Or who's closest. And these are right. items all sent in by viewers. So, yes. on this piece, what are you saying, David? I'm saying three hundred dollars. Oh. Okay. Twelve seventy-five, oh Dr. Lori. Twenty-five hundred dollars. Wow! So well, how did you know it was money? Yeah. yeah, but you can't use the money now. Yes, but <laughs> it's not about the money. It's about the fact that it's a Masonic collectible, right? right. Rare okay. and in condition. All right, so like, I... what a thing. <laughs> All right, so I'm ready for the next one. Okay, so next one. It's Lowell Herrero, a poster. I've never yes. heard of Lowell Herrero. Lowell Herrero is a relatively well-known 20th century graphic designer, children's book illustrator, and artist. Hmm. This is one of his posters. So it's, okay. Oh. I always wonder about posters. Is it in a frame? It looks like it was in a frame. Maybe we cut it off to make it look pretty for the, for the viewers, but I believe it was in a frame. The frame is not the important part of this. Okay. What is the important part? The, the image itself and the fact that it is an image by a relatively well-known illustrator named Lowell Herrero. <laughs> uh, I always thought you, maybe we should give up something more. Do you know at all if there's damage to it? Come on, David, formulate a question. <laughs> all right. No, uh, no all right. damage. Okay. No damage. I don't know on this one. So. I don't know either. I'm afraid I'm guessing too low, but so okay. I, I went high. I went okay. with $450. I went with 80 Dr. Lori. $200. So you were closer. Was Wait. I cl yeah. No, you're closer. Well. You're closer. Jill? Oh, boy. Who knows how to do math? Jill's, <laughs> I went over. All right, it's Heather. All okay. right, it's Heather. All right. Jill hey, is the judge. I, I, okay. am, I am ready to play some more, Dr. Lori. So don't okay. go anywhere. Stay with us because we're going to take a quick break, and then we have more items, pictures of items that you guys sent in. We'll find out what they're worth, and we're going to see who's going to win this challenge. Stay with us here on PTL.